In the beginning, God created the heavens and He created the earth. He created every living thing upon the earth. Thousands of years later, along comes myself, Ed Waters, and I created Free Circle so I could bring you the fireside. We want to bring you truth with integrity, insight that's right, and stories that matter the most today. So climb on in, buckle up, let's take a ride on the fireside. Fear, what do you fear? Fear is that mechanism that we use to protect ourselves from uncomfortable things in our life those things that might hurt us fear it's one of those things that hold us back keep us right in the dirt fear is just one of those things that it's a destructive force Yet at the same time, a lot of people find comfort in that place of fear. It keeps them comfortable and safe. Keeps them from stepping out of that box. Fear, I'll tell you, it's one of the worst things that we feel. Through traumatic experiences, we develop this fear, usually when we're young. And it really holds tight to us. Once once that fear creeps in, for instance, you take a little spill on a bike when you get, when you're younger... Some kids, they just won't get back on that bike for their whole entire lives because they got hurt. Some people, they don't deal with pain well. So, what what do we do? How do we deal with this fear? Well... Everybody's got to deal with fear in their own way. And it's really not easy to do. So when we talk fear, it's really ourselves holding us back. Not much more than that. Fear, it is a devastating thing on us. So, let's get over the fear. Let's learn to grip a hold of that and have no fear. To have fear and concern, that's two different things. If you know something is dangerous, I'm not saying, hey, go jump off of a building and have no fear. That's just pure stupidity. Okay, so... You have to use a little bit of your own judgment and understand, okay, I can really get hurt if I choose to do this particular thing. Or is it, you might get a little boo-boo. You know, it really depends on the individual. So... It's not easy losing that fear. Fear can really drive people their whole life. A lot of people get this mentality, 
of fear because of bullies in their life. They get bullied when they're young, and that sticks with them all their life. You know, it's it's just remarkable how fear grips us and where it can take us. So you've got to identify who you are and find some people to help, you know. Instead of being around people that put you down and make fun of your fear, find people that's going to help you develop yourself to help control those fears. The people we find ourselves with really influence who we are. So take time and look at your whole life. Understand what your fears are. Maybe fear is keeping you right with those people that are putting you down. Because you're afraid of what you'll get from somebody else. At least these people are just putting you down. They're not physically hurting you. Well, really? Yeah, it's all how we perceive things, people. And fear is tremendous. It's one of those things everybody has to deal with. It. And some of us, we just don't do fear much. I mean, it, it really depends on your upbringing, I guess. So, fear is one of those really interesting things you know watch for it in your own life identify it and make sure it doesn't creep into you as we get older it starts creeping back in into our lives and I've noticed that in myself as a youngster I didn't fear anything I would be the one, yeah, let's jump off that building, you know, no problem. But as I get older, I see that fear starting to creep in. And it's not because I fear death or getting hurt. It's just I realize, hey, this machine that I'm pushing down the road at 55 miles an hour can hurt somebody so my fear comes from concern you know I I could do 200 300 miles an hour no problem I don't care about speed but now I've noticed in this winter driving condition when I was younger I didn't slow down it was 55 60 miles an hour on ice, had no concept of anybody else. So now, that has kind of crept into me, and I realize, hey, I got to think of other people here. So my fear is of hurting somebody else. I've seen so much hurt in the world that's my biggest fear. I don't want to hurt anybody anymore. I don't want to be that guy. You know? So we've got to check ourselves. What do you fear? Why do you fear it? And recognize concerns that you should have. It's not easy to do all the time. But... I think we have to realize sometimes we have to slow down and identify our own problems, our own issues. So, my challenge to you, identify yourself, look at yourself, really understand who you are. What is your fear? And, as always, the great one said, the only thing you have to fear is fear itself.
Well, that's it for another Free Circle Fireside. Thank you for joining us. You can find us on the web at freecircle.website. You can join in on the live shows or leave a message and we'll get your voice out over the message. The call-in line is 971-533-7805. Join Free Circle, get your voice out, and thank you for joining the fireside. Ed, Free Circle, out.